let's talk to Fen Lau, a Hong Kong pro-democracy activist now living in exile here in the UK. Fen, thanks for joining us. Your reaction to what happened today at the Apple Daily offices? So today I would say the, the raid or storming of Apple Daily office and the arrest of the five executives. Uh, I key message that uh, the journalism is a threat to the so-called national security, security in the city. So the freedom of the press, uh, of the speech, are all gone in Hong Kong now. Do you believe that they did break national security law, though? No, I don't think they have uh, broken any so-called national security law. And I would say that this is likely a response to the G7 latest statement on Hong Kong and East Turkestan uh, by the CCP. Because uh, two days ago, the G7 has uh, issued a statement on that. And the, and the Beijing government, they are trying to gamble over the Hong Kong issues. They are betting that the democratic country, especially the G7, will not take any actions uh, except issuing joint statements. So I think it's time for the G7 to prove the CCP is wrong and overconfident. Well, let's bring our view as the view of the authorities. Hong Kong Secretary for Security John Lee says there's a conspiracy by these journalists. He's accused the suspects of working with third parties to try and destabilize Hong Kong. Have a listen. We are talking about a conspiracy in which the suspects try to make use of journalistic work to collude with a foreign country or external elements to impose sanctions or take hostile activities against Hong Kong and PRC. Fen John Lee also says that proper journalistic work can continue to take place freely and lawfully, he says. Is that in any way the case now? No, I don't think this is the case. This is the same jargon or wording that would be used by the Beijing government in mainland China. So uh, we can see that in the past or in the last few months, uh, the BBC journalists has been uh, need to relocate to Taiwan because of the threat to journalism. The same has happened to Australian journalists uh, in mainland China. So the same is happening again in Hong Kong. Can you go back to Hong Kong, do you believe? No, I don't think I could go back to Hong Kong. Actually, I'm one of the several Hong Kong activists in exile wanted under the same draconian law. Uh, and I'm, I was also one of the 10,000 arrestees of the Hong Kong pro-democracy movement. What are you asking the international community to do now? So I think it's time for, for the G7 and the international community to impose collective strong sanction against the CCP. This is the only way to deter the expansion of the aggressive behavior of the CCP. Without editors, without money or support, Apple Daily, which is such a symbol of the opposition in Hong Kong, is going to really struggle to survive. How does the opposition now take some kind of form in Hong Kong when the papers like this are being shut down, essentially? Yeah, um, so the the news that the assets of uh, Apple Daily have been frozen uh, makes m many people, including myself, very worrying whether they could survive today or tomorrow because they are trying to stop them from paying the journalists or employees. We are not sure whether they could survive today or tomorrow. For now, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah. Yeah, thank you yeah. for joining us. And I should just say we have had some comments through from...